and I'm from St. Peter and St. Andrew's Church in Connecticut. Today we have Ember Bolas. Would you like to know more about him? Well, then keep watching the show. What was your place of birth? I was born in Upper Egypt, Sohag. What is your name and title? My name is Bishop Paul. We have a mission in Africa in five countries and it is mainly spiritual mission but we have also humanitarian mission we have medical missions tell us about why and how you were drawn to the monistic li uh, life uh, from my young who would i like to be a monk you did yes and i was dreaming all the time kida to escape while i go kida to the monastery to be a monk and after I finished my medical school, I started to be consecrated to the Lord. After a while, I became a monk. So you wanted to become a doctor, you're saying? I was doctor in the past, yes. Oh, nice. Please can you tell us about your life in the monastery? Life in the monastery is life of prayer, habibti of doxology. How the person lives with the Lord and enjoys the love of the Lord. How many years are you, were you a monk? From year, from year 94 till now. Wow, yes. interesting actually. Where did you serve before you became a monk? Uh, I mean a bishop. I was serving in the start of Upper Egypt as a consecrated deacon in, in Asyut about 18 years. But then I went to Africa. Now I am almost 20 years in Africa. Wow. Yes. Okay. Um, can you please tell us about Pope Shenouda and your personal feelings about him? I was Sayyidina al-Baba was amazing in his love. And I will speak about the area of mission where I am serving. He, ha he loved Africans very much. He has wide, wide vision. He loves the African father, he encouraged them, encourage us always in the mission. What is a story or an incident that you'll never forget about him? Any story that you'll never forget this about This is him? hard because a lot of stories are there, not one story. Well, you can tell us one. But, but and what I can't forget, in all our problems or challenges, I used to go to him, tell him, and never stop supporting us. All the time he was supporting. Okay, so tell us about Africa. Tell us about the place. Think about Africa. What's so good? I'm about serving in, F in five African countries: Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Congo, and Nigeria. People there are kind. People love the church. People, if you go there to find how people worship from all their heart, how they love very much our liturgy, our saints, and the doctrines of the church. What is your vision for the youth? And tell us your genes for our youth. I feel, as Sayyidina Al-Anba Musa said, the youth are the future of the church. Sayyidina Al-Baba always used to say that. And I feel our youth are the best. And I feel if they could like manage to create a lively relationship with the Lord, we can find a big army for the Coptic Church from the youth who is building the kingdom of God, who loves the Lord, who is very holy, very active. How do you see us? Us different than the youth in Africa. Do you see us in any different way? Africa is life is more quieter. You can feel the presence of the Lord more. No distraction there. And I feel because Africans are like poor and simple, God is more visible there than here in the Middle East life in the West here. What do we look for when we're seeking a job? I feel if you trust the Lord, if you trust the Lord has planned for you. And when you go there with like lifted head, 
trusting God, trusting yourself. And people find, يعني, I encourage always our youth to be good readers. They have knowledge. They are presentable. And trusting the Lord, easy to get a job. Because always we interview people to come and work in our projects in Africa. And when I look at the face of the person, when I find him trusting the Lord shining, easy, I want you to work with me and help me. But when we go down and not shining, afraid, not trusting the Lord, always hard to get a job. What, do, what advice do you give for when you're seeking a spouse? I, I say always, we should pray first. And second, not the beauty or the outer attraction, but how much she loves the Lord, how much she is wise, how much I, I feel proud of her to be the mother of my children, which is the criteria to me for, for, for choosing uh, a, either a boy or a girl. Can you please tell us how to stay focused on God's path? Focus, it depends upon relationship with the Lord. And always I advise the young people, I say, if you find distractions, evils around you, so you need power. You should get up early morning, find time, sit down with the Lord, get from Him wisdom and the direction and the power. So when you go to the world, you can face all temptation and all like evils around you, feeling the presence of the Lord. I have at least just two more questions and then I'm done. Have you ever saw a baboon in Africa by any chance? Like a baboon or a wild animal that came up to you? I remember when, when first I went to Africa and we have some visitors and they were living in area and there they said to me there they used to see lion by night that long time not now and they said they were in a camp and they advised them to use torches or any like fire that the lion never attacked them by 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 night at the same time i was serving an area and I used to go, come back from the service late. And they were telling me that there are hyenas in that mountain there. And they were warning me, be careful by night because any hyena can attack you. That 20 years ago, now there is no animals in Africa. You can't see animals. Okay, and my last question, can you tell us some funny moments that happened in your past years with being a monk? A lot of funny moments happen in my life. Once I was with Abuna Musa and uh, some wicked people in the church made us problem in the, uh, with the government. And that time was the feast of Saint Amba Abraham. And they accused us of things which are not real. And it was like very hard moment. And I remember we made mixology for Amba Ibrahim by night and we got to get up early morning to pray liturgy and we went to meet the governor of the area. And it was funny that the person who was accusing us, he was working in the church. When the governor said to him, you should go away from these people if you are accusing them. He was saying, no, they are good people and they care for me and my family. And in one moment, the problem was solved. And, and the Lord made him to betray his first words against us. And from that time, that governor was like our best friend. Thank you, Buddha, for letting me ask some Thank questions. Thank you, Sokar. God bless you.